Hey guys, KH Cloud here with my uh, day one ish. It's, it's still technically before E3, but I mean, there's three days before E3. You can't just call them all day zero. Besides, this is where all the big announcements happen, so everyone's paying attention to that stuff. So, the day one ish uh, brief for the PC gaming conference. A few things to note they announced a new uh, expansion for XCOM 2. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I like the fact that the enemy, that some of the enemies in it are attacking both you and your enemy, like your villain, the villain character. So the heroes and the villains are caught up in a in that kind of mix. I think that's really cool. There's a game called Ooblets that looks like kind of a mix between Animal Crossing and Pokemon. I'm kind of interested in that. I want to see more about that. Uh, Total War Hammer announced its release date. It's uh, coming out September 28th. Uh, they had some battle footage that looked pretty cool, but they didn't really show too much because, you know, a lot of that stuff was saved for the floor. Uh, Destiny 2 uh, announced the release date for PC, which is October 24th, which is kind of late considering it comes out to console on September 6th. But, you know, I mean, if you want to play that on PC, I'm fairly certain it's worth the wait. Uh, Tunic, that was like a Zelda-like isometric indie game. Looked pretty cool. Well, action, 2D action adventure, or isometric action adventure. Um, Islands, it was like a castaway themed Minecraft game, that looked pretty cool, it's Islands with a Y, so it's Y-L-A-N-D-S, the Y is supposed to represent your lands, whatever, like you have these little islands, uh, you play like a little survival thing on it, and you can kind of build, you know, whatever you want on it, and there's actually like a full editor out for it too, which is kind of interesting. Grifflands, that had really cool art. It looked kind of interesting. I don't know if I would play it, but it kind of reminded me a little bit of Persona. Not that much. Like, it's not like a Persona clone, but it's a little, a little similar. Lone Echo. That looked really interesting. That come, that's coming from the Ready at Dawn developer. It involve, it's a VR game that involves you using your hands to pull yourself along. That looked really cool. Uh, Wargroove. is like a Fire Emblem-like strategy game, tactics game. That looked pretty cool. They also announced, so Microsoft announced that they're building an Age of Empires Definitive Edition. Uh, that looked... Alright, looks pretty cool. Age of Empires is my favorite of the strategy games. Overall, one of my problems with the PC gaming conference is it doesn't really feel like a conference. It feels more like the Treehouse stuff. Like the Nintendo Treehouse and like the live PlayStation stuff that's going on now. It doesn't really feel like a press conference proper. So, on to the uh, Ubisoft press conference. So, Ubisoft announced Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. They didn't really announce it. They showed it off. Uh, it kind of looks like uh, Kitty XCOM best way to explain it they also showed off uh some assassin's creed origins uh that looked fine they showed a little bit more i, I like the trailer that they showed it looks really good there's a lot of animals it's kind of interesting um transference it's a vr game with elijah wood is involved in it it looks kind of interesting might be something worth looking into in the future gull and bones so they announced uh, Skull and Bones, which is like a basically like Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag multiplayer, but like you're just playing the pirate type stuff. It could be good, it could be bad. It seems like it's kind of competing with Sea of Thieves. But Assassin's Creed 4's uh, pirate gameplay was pretty good, so I expect this to be pretty good gameplay-wise. And, you know, hopefully it kind of, uh, kind of stands up. You know, it looked, it looked interesting enough that I'm definitely going to be paying attention to it. Now Starlink, I, I can't tell if it's an on-rail shooter or a full free, like, 3D shooter or whatever. Um, but it looked rather interesting. You can kind of build your own ship. You keep it on your controller, which is kind of weird. But you know, it seems a bit late to get into the toy thing, doesn't it? Like, they did the same thing with Rocksmith. Like, they got into the, like, Ubisoft got into the music thing after, like, the music thing was done. No one cared anymore. And the toy stuff is pretty much done. Like, no one cares anymore. Now they're getting into it. It's just really weird. Far Cry 5, they showed us some of that. Looks really good. And then the big announcement. The big announcement from the Ubisoft press conference. They announced Beyond Good and Evil 2. It looks really cool. It's a bit more mature than the original Beyond Good and Evil was. Um, the dialogue is kind of suspect at times. But it still looks fun. And on to the big press conference of the day. The Sony E3 press conference. They started it out with a little bit of like a live concert thing that they did last year and they had this like nice water art display. It looked really beautiful and that led into Uncharted Lost uh, Legacy. That was 
a lot more action-packed and bigger than I thought it was going to be from what I saw, so that's pretty cool. Um, they showed off a new expansion for Horizon Zero Dawn. It has my kind of environments, which is a ton of snow. Uh, <laughs> they showed off um, Days Gone. That looks really impressive, and they have some really nice art. And they, have, they had a zombie bear. I mean, what's not to like about that? Uh, they showed off... They announced Monster Hunter Worlds. I don't know if that's an MMO. That kind of sounds like a name for an MMO. It could just be something else. But it looked really huge and really pretty, like a really nice Monster Hunter game. Shadow of Colossus. They announced the, they're remaking Shadow of Colossus. I'm excited about that because I never really got to play Shadow of Colossus on the PS2, so now I'll be able to play it on the PS4. More Skyrim, because that's what we need. Skyrim VR, that was just... No. Stop. They showed off some more of Dad of War. Uh, really excited for that. I love Norse mythology, and I, I almost lost it when I saw that they had the World Serpent. I do want to see Fenrir, though. Please have Fenrir. Uh, Detroit looked really, really good. It kind of surprised me, but I'm not the biggest fan of the Quantic Dream games. I mean, I, I appreciate them for what they are design-wise, but I just I didn't like Heavy Rain that much. I never really played Beyond Two Souls too much. But, uh, either way, it looks really cool. It looks like kind of separated, like, stories about robots trying to become humans that are connected through the city of Detroit. Looks really interesting. I definitely want to see more of that. So, uh, they showed off a little bit of Destiny 2. It's keeping its exclusive PlayStation content stuff, and a lot of people were questioning whether or not that was still going to happen. It's still happening. Uh, I have mixed feelings on that. Um... The villain looks really awesome. Just just great. Like I I like the best line of the show of E3 so far is coming from the villain of a Destiny game. That's really weird. Uh Spider-Man looked awesome. It kind of looks a bit like Arkham Light, like a little bit more um kid-friendly Arkham, maybe more teen-friendly Arkham, I should say. But uh, it had the Arkham style gameplay and some Uncharted style set pieces. Looked really great. Can't wait to play that. We still don't know what Sucker Punch is up to. So yeah, that was a bit of a brief. I might go more in depth into some of those uh, press conferences later. But that's just a little uh, brief onto what happened on day one.